Okay guys, right now I'm here in Tennessee and I'm heading to Stamps Cemetery, also known as the Witches Cemetery. Now there's all kinds of crazy stuff surrounding this area, but it's known to be the cemetery that houses the bodies of witches, real witches. Oh, I felt pressure all over my body. Is this yours? My name is Jody Dean. That's why I jumped. I heard a loud hit behind me. Real human bones. And when it comes to the paranormal, I don't play no fucking games. Is there anything here? Oh my god! It's in my god! I'm known as Mr. Hunting the Dead on my channel, Hunting the Dead on YouTube. Feel you in here, man. Come on. Give me <laughs> I've been on the news for hunting some of the most haunted places in the state of Florida. In less than two years, I have over 4.9 million views and 64,000 subscribers. He's a one-man band. Very knowledgeable. I love Jody Dean. He's one of the best out there. What? No, thank you. I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I think those cabinets, I think those were open. I just fucking heard something right here. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Dude, oh my god, dude! Shit, man, all I want to do is hunt the fucking paranormal. Right now, I'm in the cemetery where they say witches are buried. Good witches, bad witches. There is a tombstone here that they claim if you touch it at midnight, you will be possessed, demonized, or possibly cursed, or all three. They say if you touch the upside down pentagram at midnight, here in the cemetery, a demon will appear. Right here, we have a star. Right here, we have an interlocking star. We have a pentagram. walk around here real quick and see right here we have a upside we have an upside down star right here we have a bad witch right here we have an upside down star which is an upside down pentagram which is the sigil for the satanist these are dark witches here these are black witches that would have been involved in witchcraft. Right here, we have another one. They call this witches' cemetery because so many witches are buried here. And there's so many legends involving these witches. But you have to say, is it legend or not? If there's anything here, I invite you, any of the witches, I invite you 
I dare you, I ask you to cling upon me. Let your spirit be known and attack me, possess me. Show me your witch power if you have power at all. I definitely feel the energy here. But it's not enough. I want you to show me what this is about. I'm going to touch all of them. I'm going to touch every single one of them. We got it. We got it. We got an upright one right there. We have a good witch. Bad witch. How did you witches die? The heaviness I'm feeling right now is an indication that the spirit activity has been alerted that I'm here. All right, so very witchy, witcherton style. This witch right here has some dead tree bush growing up out of her stone. She does have the mark of the devil here. She is a satanic witch. Satanic witch. Do we have any real, real witches here? Who are you? James Stamp. Nancy, Nancy Stamp. You a witch, Nancy? What about you, Sanford? Back soon. You said back soon. By you, Nancy. Stanford. Why don't you tell me about who you are? Can you say your last name? Mary Neal. Can you affect me? There is somebody's grave right there on the side of the mountain. Looks like it's about to fall off. Some dogs down there. Sounds like some hound dogs. A lot of beer cans over here, man. Somebody's been up here drinking. Yeah, but look at that grave right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is. Just hanging on the side of the mountain. Surprisingly, I haven't been touched since I've been here. But I have been touched with spiritual power. And I have to have something from this cemetery. Okay, right here we have infant of Joseph and Martha. Born and died June 19th, 1895. Infant of can't read that one but died 1896 just felt like something walked up behind me here I 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece right here, this little rock. It's been there for a while. Got a nice little marking in there. I'm gonna take that piece as a remembrance from this cemetery and uh, add that to my haunted collection. Okay, right here I have grabbed a rock in front of several different witches' graves, um, and I took a picture of me holding each rock in front of each witch's grave that I took, except for like one or two of them, but uh, yeah, I took pictures so I know what I took, and they were just in the dirt in front of the grave, but Alicia said to me, because she just arrived here in Tennessee, she said, uh, Jody, that's a little crazy that there was a rock, almost like, almost they were all the same in a way, just in front of each tombstone. She said, that's weird, there would be a rock in front of each one. Okay, so uh, Alicia met up with me here just a little bit ago. I'm just now leaving the Witch's Cemetery. I begged, I asked, I pleaded, please, show me your energy, show me your power. And I will say, I'm a little riled up. Um, I feel very intense. Hi. I could feel the spirit energy there. Jace says hi, guys. Say hi, Jace. But what I really, really, really feel is there was a lot of infants there. And they marked their tombstones with the satanic sigil. I believe that those infants didn't die naturally. I believe they were a sacrifice of the craft. And I believe that these witches, they live in an area and they lived here in a time where the black craft in this area is felt heavily. And there's a lot of old timers around here that know a lot of the history. Not a lot of them want to go on camera, but they know Alicia's family because a lot of her family lives up here. And the stories are pretty thick. I grabbed some rocks from there and each witch had a rock in front of their grave. Now I'm the proud owner of those. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes from those in my conjurings. This cemetery is loaded with witches that lived here, did their craft here, and are spending their spirit life here. Some of them. A lot of these witches are intelligent and they know that they can go on with their spirit life. But here at Stamp Cemetery, the craft is real. The craft is thick. I would definitely like being buried up here. I mean, look guys, look at the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful surrounding. This whole area is enchanting. It's majestic. It's gorgeous. How about being here in fall? I just came back over here to take some of these sticks real quick and I heard something over here pounding like a witch's drum. I don't hear it now because there's cars riding by, but there was something that sounded like a witch's drum. You're here, show me. Okay, so Alicia was just uh, telling me that she's seen something in the woods here. We came back and hopefully we're about to see it right now. Where did you see it? To the right here? Right. This might be the witch's house. Over there. Oh shit. There it is. I bet that's it. Okay, so we've only got about probably seven minutes up the road from the Witch's Cemetery and I started feeling like something was pushing in on both sides. Of, I feel like something's pushing in on both sides of my head. I feel a real heaviness on my shoulders, on my chest. Um, the GPS, we put in the coordinates to the Walmart and it took us in this circle back to the cemetery that we just left, the Witch's Cemetery. Um, 
So now it looks like we're on the right track back to the Walmart, but I feel really weird. And Alicia is telling me that I should take the rocks and the sticks back to um, the witch's cemetery that, uh, that I took. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I, I want to have them. And I'm pretty sure they're affecting me because I, I provoked a little bit there. I, I provoked a little bit more than you guys probably seen off camera. Um, I did feel their presence there. Nothing insane happened. I might have caught some EVPs that I'm not aware of, but uh, definitely being affected here.